Exactly, because a novel is like a sandbox that you get to play in and you get to follow these trajectories and say, oh, yeah, things didn't turn out how I expected. And, and uh, the, yes, it strengthens our muscles for realizing that can happen in real life. You know, I just posted on my Substack this issue. We've talked about this study before um, about how reading even short bits of literature can expand your empathy and your ability to see other people. This is a related issue because it's, allowing you to see not only what someone else might be thinking, but what the whole situation could be and how you misinterpreted it. Yeah. By the way, there's a good example in the movie Oppenheimer where uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s character, Louis Strauss, he's going to say something to Oppenheimer and, uh, and Albert Einstein passes him and, and, and looks very angry. And, um, and so Strauss takes that personally and believes that Oppenheimer has just said something to Einstein against him. And the whole movie, he hates Oppenheimer in part because of this. And at the very end of the movie, I hope this is a, this is a minor spoiler, but at the very end of the movie, we find out that this wasn't at all why Einstein had this concerned look on his face. It's because Oppenheimer had just told him about the, the nuclear bomb test and, and Einstein pictured the whole world going up in flames and was so struck and depressed by this vision he had of what was what the future was that he walked by. And when Strauss said hello, Einstein didn't even respond to him. And so we as the audience find out that this misinterpretation has been with Strauss for his whole career because of this, this one moment. That's a great example. And, you know, it reminds us that these works of fiction make self-correction pleasurable. 